Hi guys, Mr. Starry again. Today I want to talk about um, writing slope-intercept form equations given two ordered pairs. Uh, think about it. What two things do we need to make a slope-intercept form equation? Well, we need the slope and we need the y-intercept. And if you look, they don't really give us that. So we have to find that kind of on our own and then build our equation from it. Uh, kind of the guidelines for today is I'm going to want us to find the slope first and it'll kind of make things just kind of work out a little easier towards the end. Um, and also we'll find the and kind of naturally we'll find the y intercept second. Uh, so let, let's get started here. Well, here's my two ordered pairs. Let's find the slope. Uh, remember it's x1, y1, x2, y2. And we're going to use our slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 5 minus 5 over 2 minus 4. And we'll simplify this. And again, this is our slope. This is our m. This is our slope. This will be our coefficient of our x once we have it. Well, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 over 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And if I simplify negative 10 divided by negative 2, uh, it should give me positive 5. So we're already halfway home. We have half of the information we need. We have the M. So now we need to kind of use this to find the B. Well, if you watch my other video before this, now that we have our slope, we can actually pick either ordered pair to help us find the B. Well, let's do that. Remember, it's going to be Y equals M is my slope x. Now, I don't know my b, so I'll just write plus b to kind of take its place. So, I'm ready to substitute. Now, here's the cool part of this. You can use either order pair, and you'll get the same value for b. Uh, and that's kind of the, you know, the point of all this. This is all the same linear relationship. So, let's go. Let's pick one. I'm just going to go with the first one. Both numbers are positive. It might keep things easy for us. My y value in the first equation is 5, so I'm going to write 5 equals, well, my slope turns out to be 5. Well, my x value is 4 plus b. Now I'm ready to find my b. Well, let's, let's simplify a little bit. 5 equals 5 times 4 is 20 plus b. Now, we take our one-step equation here and we solve. I do minus 20 both sides because I see positive 20. 5 minus 20 is negative 15. That equals B. So my y-intercept is actually negative 15. So I, get, I found the slope, and then I used kind of an idea that we talked about earlier to find my y-intercept. Now, my y-intercept is negative 15, so I'll come back up here. I'll erase my plus B, and I'll write negative 15 in its place. And there's my equation in slope-intercept form. Again, same thing for number 2. We're going to find our m. And we're going to take our y2 value, which is 2, minus our y1 value, which is negative 1, over our x2 value, minus our x1 value. 2 minus negative 1 is 3. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Okay, well, my slope turns out to be a, an improper fraction this time, and that's okay. Um, but let's kind of find B now. We have our M, so let's find our B. Y equals 3 over negative 2 X plus B. I'm ready to start solving. And again, remember, I can use either ordered pair. So how about for this one, I use the second one. Uh, all right, well, my y value in my second ordered pair is 2. So I'll go 2 equals 3 over negative 2. My x value is negative 1 plus b. Simplifying a little bit, I get 2 equals 3 over negative 2 times negative 1. You can use a calculator for this, but I'll kind of speed it up for you. It should give you 3 over 2, or 3 halves, plus b. Now again, you might have a calculator available. Um, so it, we're going we're gonna to do some math involving some fractions here. So it might be wise to turn this 
uh, pop this whole number of 2 into halves. Well, uh, 2 as halves is 4 halves. And again, I'm just copying. And all I did from here to here is just converted this 2 into a fraction that, so that we have a common denominator. Well, we're one step away. We're going to subtract 3 halves from both sides. And we're going to be left with 1 half equals b. So my y-intercept is actually 1 half. So now that I know that, I can come back up here. And it's positive, so I can keep the plus sign. 1 half. And that's kind of squeezed in there. Let me rewrite that for you. So my final answer is y equals, and actually even further than that, just to make things super clean looking, I'm going to take this negative and I'm actually going to put it out in front of my fraction. 3 over 2, which is my slope that I found. x and my y-intercept was positive 1 half. So again, I just kind of copied from here to here, but that was just so we, so we can kind of see it, and it's a little larger on the screen there for you, okay? Very specific type example today. Um, so again, writing slope-intercept from two ordered pairs, any two ordered pairs, uh, and that's kind of the gist of it all. I mean, everything, there's many examples that can come out of this, uh, but I think these two are kind of the, kind of hit home with most of them. So um, that's all I have for you today in this one, guys. Hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you in the next one.